Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, I'm going to show you an Anytime workflow for OCR extraction, right? Most of the time you have your invoices, receipt, different kind of reports, and you want to kind of generate or, you know, generate some kind of summaries or extract text, right? To perform different kind of tasks, right? And how can we build those kind of automation workflows on Anytime? And I'm going to use Mistral OCR, you know, on Anytime to kind of handle invoices. Let's jump in and see how we can do that. If you look at here on my screen, I already have an Anytime workflow and I give you this workflow. I will I will download this and give it to you so you can just, you know, you can just import this template and work with this. You don't have to kind of like uh, write it again uh, or create it again from uh, yourself. If you look at here, we have on form submission, right? In on form submission, if you click on text workflow, it asks you to upload a file, like choose file. So when you click on choose file, I can choose, let's say any file. Uh, right, I can just say I'll go to download, right? WordPress, WordPress, PDF, voice plugin, sample, or whatever. There's a booking confirmation. Let's take this booking confirmation. I take this, I submit. It says form submitted. Your response has been recorded, right? Workflow executed successfully, blah, blah, blah. I already have done this. Now I'm using upload to Mr. OCR, get OCR results, whatever, you know, that we are having, right? If you click on view, it, it gives you uh, this output, you can see the model, the UJs, pages process, doc size, different kind of uh, information that you get it. I'll show you how we can do it. So first thing that we have to do is on form submission, right? When you can search on on form submission here, you search on just write form, n ten form. When you click on n ten form, you can find out next form page form ending, right? Actions, right? I already have n ten forms. This is part of the n ten form that you see. So you take an on form submission where you can submit. Let me double click on this. When you double click on this, it shows you on on form submissions, a form title. It's very important. You have to give a form title. You can see it's an invoice. And from description, I have, please upload your invoice. It's write it, right? Where you can upload your documents. And then field name. What do you want to kind of uh, name it? That's it. And just go back to canvas. That becomes your on form submission. Now, before that, I go into this workflow. It also has an extract from file. So if you write extract here, Anytime has a new thing called extract from files. When you click on this, it has a lot of things. Extract from CSV, extract from HTML, JSON, PDF, text file, XML, blah, blah, blah. But this is not, this is not great. Okay, this is very good for like, when the document is pretty simple, clean, it's not handwritten, it's not complex with multiple sheets. If you have very complex document, this will not work. I will not lie, guys. You know, I tried it out, it was not working good. It's good for simple documents. So if, if you have a very simple use case where you have some printed forms or something and you want to kind of use extract from file to extract PDFs, you can do that. But in this case, I want to use Mistral and all, right? That's why I have it. That's why I kept this separate. I wanted to show you. Now you can just click on form submission to extract from file and then you will extract something. But as I said, it's not that good, so I'm not going to use it. Now, it, what I did, I created an HTTP request. If you want to use through an API, let's say we have an HTTP request over here, right? You see an HTTP request and I'm just go back to canvas to show you. I don't know why I created this, I'll delete. Now, if I double click on this, you can see I have an HTTP request. I named it upload to Mistral OCR. Now we're going to do a post request, right? Because the API is on Mistral Cloud, the model, and we're going to upload files through Anytime, and we're going to use this URL, you can see. Now, how do we get this, right? You have to click on import CURL. Now, in import CURL, once you have, and of course, you need an API key for Mistral, from Mistral AI. I hope you can get the API keys after going to docs.mistral.ai and click on the API, log in, and have a free account, they give a free account to work with, and you can get the API from here. Now within this, you have to come here and call use OCR with uploaded PDF. We have to copy this C URL, you know, in the first HTTP request. Okay. You forget about this, this is the last, that's why it's showing. In the first HTTP request, you have to copy this C URL, right? And then just import it, save it. This is how it will look like, you know, it will have, authentication in the authentication it will not have generic credentials type it will by default it will have predefined credentials type but i created generic credentials type and then i created a header auth when you select generic and then here you can create a new credentials this is where you have to give 
you know mr ocr api key so i'll show you here you just you know copy the give it a name and here you can write bearer because it's a bearer token so you have to write this bearer let me show you this bearer here bearer mistral api key and here you will write authorization so in this one in this one will be authorization and in this one it will be bearer mistral api key but make sure you give your keys not this mistral underscore api underscore key so i'm not going to do that excuse me i'm just going to close right you can see i already have named it mistral ocr demo that's why i'm using it right and then all of this will be good you, you have to you have to keep this right send headers it will be checked you have to make it unchecked send headers would be unchecked these are all fine keep it default keep it default keep it default keep it default everything only thing that you will change is input data field name which which should be this whatever you see it here it has to be here input data field so it can take as an input right from the file from the file upload so once you do that you don't have to do anything else over here just give it a name i named it upload to mr ocr go back to canvas you have to create one more http request so this is also this all three are http request so second http request what you're gonna do you're gonna again have this url so you can take this url and we have, we have to pass a json id let me come back here you have to get something called get signed url it gives you a signed url because what it does guys right the moment you upload a pdf file to mistral cloud or mistral server it basically does a background task it gives it puts your file in a queue and it gives you a signed url from the mistral cloud for the secure communication so what you have to do in that case you have to take this get signed url c url come here and put import c url automatically all these things will change the only thing you have to make change here in this url bring up this id it's called json.id you can see double curly braces it's a javascript nomenclature so you have to do double curly braces and put dollar json.id you can just take the screenshot and of course you can just import the template i'm just giving you a walkthrough here you again select generic credentials type the moment you select it will show all of the previous state that you have saved header auth mission ocr you don't have to do anything else over here just go back to canvas save it go back one more http request to get the ocr result one when, when the background task is processed right so one more http here again you have to do this one get ocr results or you can just do the first one also you can just say ocr with pdf just copy this come back and put that in the c url if you look at my current c url this is what i have right so you have the c url here you can put it uh, generic credentials header auth mr ocr same thing and here in the json if you look at this json you have to click on expression you have to part the json dot url because it, it takes this url you see here the signed url that's it everything else is done right you come back go back to canvas and your result will be like there if you see my results i already have got the output click on view you can click on json you click on table you can click on binary in binary you can click on view this is how it looks like everything Right, all the extracted text you can see the markdown it's book my so uh, my ticket right that i have booked it uh, over there you can see the dummy pdf and stuff so this is how you can create a very simple workflow on anytime for building ocr uh, extraction with your uh mistral model mistral is one of the best model when it comes to ocr they have a mistral ocr model that we, we know it one dollar for thousand pages so this is how you can create it if you have a very simple thing you can create this extract from file let's create a new workflow i can probably i'll just save this yeah and let me you can just write say i'm just showing you quickly you can do that you click on edit and form you have this form right authentication form title let's say uh, i'm gonna give call it invoice form description please upload your invoice or something here and field name i'm gonna call it invoice uh, element type let's say call where is pdf a oh, file excuse me file blah 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 this is fine yeah let's just uh, go back to canvas i have on field on form submission here you can add extract from file you can see it says extract from file input binary data right so what i'm going to do is first let me go back to canvas and delete it from here here let's test this workflow the moment i test the workflow you can upload a file here right so let's upload any file you want you know i can I can upload all kind of let's just let's say the same thing that i upload right i upload the same thing submit 
you can see form had been submitted. So this, this is working fine. Right, let's close this and connect back here, right? This one. Okay, we connected, double click on, and this input will become your invoice or something, right? And test setup. You can see it gets something, but yeah, it's it's not that good. You can see it's able to get it for me because my document is really simple. You can thank you, thank you for purchase. It gives my details, my email addresses, and everything, right? So it's it's working fine for simple document. But I said when you have complex document, this might not work, right? You can go to JSON and have a look at the same thing. This is how the text looks like, right? So it has an extract from files, and you can again write it back to an Excel sheet, write it back to an let's say an email. You can see Microsoft Excel 365. You can write it to your Google Sheet and save it wherever you want or whatever automation that you want to create. I'm not going to probably, like, let's save this as well. Uh, let me save this as extract, extract PDF, right? And I'm go back to overview. You can see PDF extraction workflow. I'll just delete this now. And uh, yeah. This is my on-form submission and three HTTP requests, starting first with uploading the Mistral URL, Mistral OCR URL that the cloud that we have, this post request, and then get a signed URL. And once we have the signed URL, we again get the OCR result because it puts in the background queue. That's how this automation workflow works when you want to use NATN and Mistral OCR or even extract from file to build the best of the OCR workflows, right? And you can... Uh, Basically, store this result on Google Sheet, send it on Telegram, Notion templates, blah, blah, blah. Right? It's up to your choice. Right? So that's all. I'll give you this template from a link. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedback. Happy to answer that. You can reach out to me through my social media channels and also channel about us. Find those information on channel banner. Right? Now, if you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. Right. Please hit the like icon, you know, for this video, guys. This video is really important for the NATN folks. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.